And the banning of high denomination notes in India has led to a surge in the use of electronic payment systems. A number of Chinese companies are investing in India's fintech industry. That comes as many Indians adopt new technologies for payments. Will the changes make India a cashless economy? Ryan Moulter, take a look. After the withdrawal of high denomination notes from the economy, training camps like these have become a common sight in urban India. E-wallet companies are educating people to use their mobile phones for hassle-free transactions. Cash crunch in the economy has forced DP Rupal, a retired government official, to go digital. I don't have to go to the bank and stand in the queue. I can use my this mobile and uh, by this mobile I can make payment wherever uh, for all my needs I can make payment. Like Rupal, for many harried Indians, e-wallets have come as a relief to avoid bank queues for currency. The e-payment players have increased their customer base by about 400% in a month. We were targeting 500 million users by 2020. Now we're targeting them by 2018. So we fast forward that plan by two years. E-wallet brands are capitalizing on the favorable environment and are looking for new investments to cater to the customer needs. We are creating products as an industry which cater to these feature phone users wherein by giving a missed call you can uh, do a transaction uh, and it's not as dependent on data connectivity. While the fintech industry is trying to find solutions to the problems of connectivity and infrastructure, there are larger challenges in the way of India becoming cashless. We are here in a slum in the middle of Delhi where a large chunk of workforce lives and the challenge here is to actually convert illiterates into becoming digital literates. This slum in Delhi inhabits a fraction of 26% Indians who cannot read or write. Vishal Jha, a cook by profession, has a bank account but is illiterate. He says if India goes cashless, he will be in trouble. I can only pick a call or make a call rest. I am not educated. I don't understand anything about the phones. If we go cashless, people like me will have to fight a lot to adapt and we will become dependent on others for everything. For a smooth transition from cash economy to a cashless one, the government will have to create awareness and educate people. Ravinder Bawa, CCTV. Delhi.